Boom! What's going on guys? This is Zach from the Blue Republic and I'd just like to share with you a small strategy which I've been using for the past few days. A uh, very small gang, so sort of two to three people is absolutely fine for this. Uh, you see on your screen there is a Talos, which is the perfect boat. Uh, best of the tier 3s in my opinion. Obviously it's drone bay and all that sort of shit, so it's not as susceptible to small frigates and stuff, but still of course very vulnerable. And the most important part of the fleet was Tigmet, who was piloting the Interceptor Crow. And his job was obviously to catch anything that jumped through the gate, get it locked down so the Talos could start applying damage. And as you'll see in the upcoming clip, the pair is absolutely perfect. Uh, the Talos, I've got SIBO fit, so it's going to be locking stuff down itself pretty quick and applying damage. Uh, zero tank, so you've really got to rely on the tackle on this one. I mean, the tackle is the most important part of this fleet. And if the tackle fails, basically the tier 3 battlecruiser is dead, because once something gets close to it, it's got zero tank on. It's just going to pop straight away and die a fiery death. So yeah guys, that's it. The clip's about to start. I hope you enjoy. Everything's going to be left at real time, including the comms and stuff like that. So, happy days. Enjoy it. Terra Mesma. I don't know if he's jumped in this way. Oh, there's another we'll one. We'll see. That's got to be that Sony guy that's just jumped. It just flashed, so... Point. Awesome. Boom, headshot. <laughs> We're gonna get completely blobbed when they report what's going on. Yeah, there's more coming by, look at it. We'll get that MWD on. I've got a point on Amelia. Just trying to burn out here. Put damage on Amelia, I like that. Okay, I'm, I'm on Priscilla now. Cronala. Oh, boom headshot. There's more. I'm trying for it. It's coming straight out of. Dead. In the next clip coming up, we've got two tier 3 battlecruisers. We've got myself and a Talos. Wiggles in a NATO and Chewie was running a stiletto for tackle. Same sort of thing, we're at range on the gates and everything's up to Chewie to lock something down. In the next clip also highlights the importance of having a really fast tackle with you as when Connor comes back on his Drake, he manages to get some ACM on the tackle and warps off to a belt, but Tackle gets straight on top of him in the belt and we get a warp. And I just like to give some props to Connell because he got his coma and blew up and then he came back in a Drake, so well done mate and it was a good fight. Enjoy it. Weird. Awesome. I feel a little bit bad for shooting him, but How's that? Connell's a good uh, solo. I can't stop. Jesus, that's Connell. Yeah. Yeah, these Jams, two. Someone get a point on him. Points. Oh, oh no. Gone. I'll land yeah, first, just warp to him, warp to him, warp to him, I'll land first. Pointed. Bring warp. Warp drive active. Save the poor rifter. Secondary point. Oh. Nope. 
Good catch, man. Good catch. So that's it for that episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed it, and there's going to be loads more coming. But please, please try it. The uh, Talos is a fantastic boat, or the NATO, or the Oracle, or whatever. As long as you've got some fast tackle at a gate, who know what they're doing, you're going to be absolutely sorted for getting kills. And as always, leave some feedback, some comments, what you'd liked, what you didn't like, and all that type of stuff. And I'll see you in space.